I'm very excited. We are going on a vacation. Oh, I am excited too. We are going to visit many different places. Yes, we are going to a forest and a desert. Oh, don't forget about our visit to the sea. We are going snorkeling in the sea. Oh, yes. That will be a lot of fun. I can't wait anymore. Let's go. The desert is such a dry area. There seems to be no water nearby. You are right. There is very less rain in the desert and there are no rivers here. But see, there are plants. I wonder how these plants are able to live in the desert without water. Oh, these plants have adapted themselves to their dry conditions. I learned about adaptations in animals, but I did not know that plants also have features to adapt themselves or to adjust to their environment. Like animals, plants also adapt to the conditions where they live in. Can you tell me about adaptations in plants? Mm -hmm. Yes. See, this is a cactus. It grows in dry areas. Why does this cactus plant have no leaves? A genius question. But before I answer this, let me ask you a question. If we keep water in these two containers in sunlight, from which container will water evaporate faster? Water will evaporate faster from the bowl. Right, but why? Because the bowl has more surface area. Therefore, more sunlight can directly fall on the water. So more water will evaporate. Sweetheart, you're a genius. How do you know all this? I learned it in Faces of Matter video on MakeMeGenius.com But you did not answer my question, why does the cactus have no leaves? You answered your question yourself. Cactus don't have leaves as cactus has to survive in very dry and hot environment. Leaves have bigger surfaces like water in the bowl. So cactus can lose more water in evaporation. So in place of leaves, cactus have spines. Spines reduce the surface area, so less water is lost, less surface area and less water escapes out. I see. And due to spines, no animals can eat the cactus. You are right. This adaptation in cactus helps it to save itself from being eaten by animals. Cactus' stem is also very thick. How does that help? Thick stem is useful in storing water. And also look carefully. Cactus has a waxy coating. Yes, I know. Waxy coating stops water from escaping. You are right. Plants in hot and sunny areas like deserts have waxy coating to reduce water loss. And also, let's look at the root system of this plant. It has very long roots to collect water from a large area. Now we have understood plants of dry areas. Do you want to know about adaptation of plants which live in water? Wow! For that we will have to go to the sea. Let's go into the sea and see how plants adapt in water. Oh, I can see these plants. Look, these plants have flexible stems and leaves. Due to flexibility, these plants can flow and bend with the water as water is always moving. Oh, look at this water lily flower. How is it floating over the water? Oh, water lilies and many other water plants keep floating in water. 
these plants have air space in their stem it is like uh, when we fill a balloon with air and then put it in water what happens it floats stem of these floating plants act like a balloon full of air now i understand why few plants keep floating on water um hey we're getting late here we have to go to the forest also oh yeah let's learn adaptations of plants in the forest wow this plant has such big leaves is this also an adaptation to survive <laughs> yes few forests are in rainy areas they get very less sunlight so few plants have very large leaves to catch maximum sunlight whenever sun comes out in this area and sunlight is necessary for plants for making food correct now come out from those plants let's move further it's getting dark This plant has beautiful flowers. Let me pluck some. Hey, be careful. They seem poisonous. Don't touch them. Oh, thanks for the warning. But why are they poisonous? Plants need to protect themselves from birds and animals. Maybe they have adapted themselves to have poisonous flowers and fruits. Oh, plants are very smart. Plants and animals need to be smart if they have to survive. You are right. If plants don't adapt, then they will die. <laughs> you are right. And sweetheart, it's getting dark now. We need to go back. Otherwise, we may not be able to survive in this forest. Bye. Bye.